Hello, this is Byrne, and if you're a single woman wanting to find love and intuitively feel that marriage is good for men, not just for women, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you some compelling facts that will help you understand why this might be the case. So stick with me. Hello, this is Byrne. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women, how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of quality man that you can without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or crazy texting techniques that don't really work, but as a result of stepping into the most alive and the most feminine version of you. Now, I was browsing through IFS's website and came across a very insightful report on the myth of men being chained and having a shitty life if they get married. <laughs> and the thing that the report was highlighting, which is something that I've been looking in other reports at, it's not the first one I come across that has this explanation, but it was very clear in this one, how men's lives are by far and large better and more successful and more fulfilling in different kinds of metrics when they are married versus when they are single. And it's counterintuitive to that fear that men have of losing freedom, of having one vagina for the rest of their lives. Uh, data shows, for example, uh, National Health and so Social Life Survey shows that 51% of married men reported that they were extremely satisfied with their sex lives. Now compare that to just 39% of men who are living with their significant other, with their girlfriend, and 36% of single men. So here you have 51% of men who are married saying my life, sex life is awesome and only 36% of single men saying the same thing. So that kind of like disputes the, the myth that if you have just one person, it's gonna lack passion, it's gonna lack excitement. Data shows, and there's lots of theories as to why this can happen, including the level of depth that you can experience with one person versus multiple people that make the experience more fulfilling. Also growing and understanding what the other person wants, right? Uh, the next report that, that, that I'll share with you is by Julie Sisimopoulos and Benjamin Carney. Basically what they did is they, they analyzed how successful, financially speaking, were single men versus married men. Married men, specifically who were being married once, not guys who've been like, there's the third divor divorce. I mean, those guys are suffering in some way, right? But think about a guy who's, not be, who's only been married once in his 50s versus a single man in his 50s who's not been married. Well, data shows that on average, the guy who's married has four times, four times more assets than the single guy. So to give you a specific number would be $163,000 in assets versus $40,000 in assets. That's four to one, right? It's a significant difference. Guys who have been married uh, more than once, they still make more than guys who have not been married. Uh, the, the data is still strongest for guys who've only been married once, but it's, it makes a difference. Now, the third a uh, statistic that I'll give you right now has to do with happiness. And a general social survey found that 43% of married men reported when, when asked that they were very happy with life. Now, the discrepancy was very big. Uh, when, when the same question was asked of single men, only 20% versus 43% said that they were very happy with life. And uh, I think it was about 21% or 22% for guys who were co-inhabiting, basically living with their girlfriend instead of being married. So, so here you have this statistic, one talking about sexual fulfillment, the other one talking about income and assets, the other one talking about overall happiness that show, not a hunch, not a feeling, not what an expert is maybe coming up with. Like this is the data that shows that men who are married live better lives in more ways than one. <laughs> and the reason why it's important to you is because uh, some of the guys you connect with will have that fear that they're going to be chained to something and, and, and it's not true. I mean, if the guy is intelligent, if he can really go and look at what's the literature out there that shows the quality of life he can live, he might be surprised to know that it's going to be far better than if he doesn't take the plunge and move forward with that commitment. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you in some way. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video or thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell if you want to be notified of new episodes as they come out. Number three, most important of all, if you feel this is helpful and you want to go deeper and understand how you can step into the kind of relationship that you want and attract the kind of man you want, uh, there's on the first link on the description of this video, you'll find, uh, you can click on that link 
enter your name and email and be taken to a masterclass that's free that will show you how to do just that. Now, if you're saying to me right now, like I really believe in marriage, I believe in the best possible relationship of my life hasn't taken place and I want it to happen. I have no idea how to do it. Videos are great, but they're not necessarily cutting it for me. I need more than videos. I need hand-holding and accountability. And I need a specific customized strategy for me. Then I might be able to help you. The second link on the description of this video will allow you to click on it, reach out and fill out an application. If I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out, set up a time to connect and I, we might be able to work together to help you get this far faster with a lot less pain than your current trajectory. Thank you so much for allowing me into your heart, into your phone, into your life. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.